So I'm Dr. Will Milford, I'm an obstetrician. I work at Kindred Midwifery Obstetrics and Gynecology in East Brisbane and work out of the Marta Mothers Private Hospital um, in South Brisbane. So travel during pregnancy is perfectly safe. I like to emphasise that pregnancy isn't a disease. There's actually very few things that you can't or shouldn't do during pregnancy. I suppose being pregnant just means that things like travel require a little bit more thought and a little bit more planning and preparation than they perhaps ordinarily would. Um, but certainly travel is very safe during pregnancy. Most airlines are concerned about women going to labour or having their babies whilst on the plane. Um, air travel itself doesn't harm or make having a baby or going to labour any more likely. So therefore, a lot of the airlines will need either a letter from your doctor or your obstetrician to say that you're safe to fly. And then some airlines will also um, suggest or ban pregnant women flying from certain gestations because of that risk. Most pregnant women prefer to be close to their care providers and to their hospitals later in the pregnancy. So I'd usually suggest only domestic or local travel late in the pregnancy. One of the things that's worth thinking about is the access to healthcare you're going to have whilst you're away. So whilst the risk of preterm labour or complications in the pregnancy is usually quite low earlier in the pregnancy, it is still possible. So therefore it's worth knowing whether you're gonna have access to medical care or hospital if you should need it. This means that travel to remote locations or locations without medical care is often not advised during pregnancy because you're a little bit more likely than usual to require medical care at some point in time. So the most important risk while flying for someone who is pregnant is the risk of deep vein thrombosis or DVT. The risk of this is primarily through immobilisation and pregnancy is also an important risk factor for this condition. Um, I suggest staying very well hydrated during the flight, getting up and mobilising regularly during a flight, and also wearing compression stockings or compression socks as well. Using these three strategies, you should be able to reduce your risk significantly for this condition. Probably the major things that people worry about is the food that they eat. So I recommend um, carrying out safe eating practices. So that's making sure that you're eating food that's been cooked and is eaten hot, um, eating food that's, if it's refrigerated, that's still cold, and also being very careful about um, whether vegetables and fruit have been washed and also um, safe drinking water. Other things that are really important, depending on your destination as well, include things such as considering your exposure to mosquitoes. So there are some important viruses which can cause harm during pregnancy, such as Zika virus, which are carried by mosquitoes. So using insect repellents and making sure you're not out at dawn or dusk, um, and also that you're sleeping somewhere that you're not gonna be exposed to mosquitoes is also important. And then the final thing is that some, for some holidays, people often do activities that are a little bit more strenuous or a bit different to what they normal, normally carry out. So again, when you're pregnant, it's probably just worth considering these carefully and not doing anything that's too out of the ordinary from what your normal activity would be. I think it's very important to see your doctor or care provider prior to your travel. Um, some uh, airlines and cruises will require a letter from your doctor saying that you're safe to travel and certain destinations will require special precautions such as vaccinations or precautions against mosquitoes, for instance. So it's always worth seeing your, your obstetrician, general practitioner or midwife to get specific advice for your destination and to assist in your planning for your holiday. Travel insurance is very important for pregnant travellers because unexpected events are a little bit more likely to occur during pregnancy than if you weren't pregnant. Um, having a baby, particularly having a baby early, um, in a situation where you don't have medical cover um, can be very expensive because of the intensive cares that are required for both preterm babies, but also for managing mothers who are in complicated circumstances, such as having high blood pressure early in the pregnancy or preterm labor. 
worth considering when you're looking at travel insurance policies that they both cover um, pregnancy, but also that they cover pregnancy at a gestation of which you're going to travel. Um, particularly later in the pregnancy, when birth is more likely to occur, um, then the costs can potentially be quite high and that's something that should be considered quite carefully in your travel plans and with your choice of insurance product. Yeah, so I'd suggest that for women that are traveling um, either domestically interstate or internationally, it's worth contacting your general practitioner or obstetrician to get a copy of your pregnancy record such that you can bring that with you um, for your travel. Because if you do end up seeking medical attention or medical care during your travels, it's useful to have those records so that those people caring for you can see uh, both some important blood test results, but also your ultrasound results as well. Uh, it's also worth considering if you've got any way of contacting your care provider, be it your GP, obstetrician or midwife, whilst you're overseas in case you do need extra, pregnant, extra information about your pregnancy in a situation where you may be seeking medical attention. So often travel for business involves hectic schedules, early flights and late flights. I think the major thing for women who are travelling for business while they're pregnant is to make sure that you manage your schedule such that it's manageable and you're not ending up exhausted and overly tired from the schedules that you need to maintain for your business. So I'd be uh, thinking about ensuring that you have some time for stopovers for long haul travel. I'll be planning your flights for not being overly early um, or overly late. And I'd be considered about the meetings you're planning and the time it takes to recover from your flights such that you're able to um, fulfill all the goals and participate as you'd want to for your business.